Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Hitman World of Assassination running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now you're currently looking at the built-in benchmark running on the 8GB version of the 5500U and the 16GB version. Now both of these are set up with dual channel and they are on the exact same driver, exact same Windows version, so everything between them is identical except for the RAM capacity. And as you can see, with the 8GB of RAM, you are losing out on some FPS average, but more importantly, your 1% lows do take a pretty noticeable hit, where with 16 gigabytes of RAM, our 1% lows are very close to a 30 FPS. With only 8 gigabytes of RAM, we're struggling to even get to 25, let alone anywhere near 30. And this was noticeable after multiple runs of this built-in benchmark. So consistently, it was just scoring lower like this. Now, of course, this is also with a 25 watt TDP on both of them. So this is a best case scenario scenario really. You could of course go all the way up to 30 if you really wanted to, but you're pushing the chip pretty hard at that point and you've already gotten most of the gains that you would get with 25 watts. But as you can see, if you are on 8 gigabytes of RAM, you are going to be in for kind of a rough time. Now I did also want to compare the 25 watt TDP to a full 30 watt TDP with the 16 gigabytes of RAM since it was already the best performer here. And you can see running through the built in benchmark again that the performance gap between the two is pretty much non-existent for the most part. There isn't really going to be a measurable improvement, but if you look, the temperatures are already higher for practically no gain. We're already almost four degrees higher in terms of temperature for a one FPS difference in both the 1% lows and the averages. So it really doesn't seem to be that worthwhile. But at least going based off of the built-in benchmark, even with just eight gigabytes of RAM, we should at least be able to play through the game just with more stutters and a bit more frequent issues if we only had the eight gigabytes of RAM. But if you have 16 gigabytes or more, you're gonna be able to actually get a really nice experience on here. Of course, FSR is being a big, help in all of this but let's actually jump into some gameplay to see how it performs now of course you already saw how this was performing with the built-in benchmark but jumping into the actual game itself we are getting performance around the level that we were hoping to see really it all depends on what exactly you're going to be doing but a lot of the times even in extremely crowded areas the performance is still going to keep up and everything is going to be looking great all in all i'm very happy to see the result on here and this is still with the 30 watt tdp but as you saw with the built-in benchmark, we're talking about a one FPS increase in terms of performance. So if you can only go up to the 25 watt TDP, this is pretty much still about the level of performance that you're gonna be getting. Now, again, if you are on eight gigabytes of RAM, I think it is really time to consider an upgrade. If your system is not upgradable, it might be time to start saving up for a new system because eight gigabytes of RAM is going to start to hold you back in a lot of titles, titles that you would normally be able to get some pretty decent level of performance it's going to drag you down to a level that might just not be a enjoyable experience for you and again you can see here that we went from getting one percent lows that were below 30 to now one percent lows that are in a comfortable 30 fps range and all of that just comes from having more ram it's a nice boost to get if you have the money and the capability of actually upgrading your system i'm going to leave down below some links to some of the ram that i have used to upgrade some of these b-link systems and and to upgrade laptops. I'll even also leave down below my favorite SSDs to get. So check those Amazon links down below. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one.